So don't let your engine miss fire, get the right spark plug wires. So what we have here is our universal spark plug wires. The reason you need this is because if you're going to do a custom installation, you have your coils mounted not on the valve covers, you don't know what length you need to have. So we're just going to make these custom so they fit perfectly and we can mount the coils wherever we want. These things are extremely long, so it's going to fit anywhere you can find in the engine bay. It'll be extremely short, extremely long, or you could use the long straight boots you use 45 degree or the 90 so there's a set of eight so you could custom configure each coil perfectly to each location so if you don't use ict billet spark plug wires you don't know what you're getting we know ours is made in the usa these are amazing quality they work perfectly we've even used them on our race truck which has tons of horsepower a lot more than almost anybody's going to run so we know these work perfect and they're going to fit anywhere you could put them. So we have two versions of this kit. We have the 350 ohm kit, which is our normal wires. And then we have the 40 ohm, basically it's a race wire. So really low resistance. We have the boot protectors to use with these as well. So if you're running race engine or something hot where you need the boot to protect it from the header, you'll want a set of those as well. Real quick, we love bringing you these guides. So give us a like and a follow so we can bring you more content just like this. Let's get back to it. So what we're going to do here is take the spark plug wire, attach it to the coil. So we're going to push it all the way down until you feel it snap here. Once you hear that pop where it snaps in, we'll rotate it here into place. So a little turn, and then we're going to hold it with the other spark plug wires, basically where it would be connecting on the loop to where all the wires are running together. So it's a nice clean look like that. And then we're going to run this wire down once we have a routing to the tip of the spark plug. So you're going to cut it right at the tip because we're going to run a 90 degree boot. So cut it right here. And this is where we're going to attach the spark plug wire. Now that we have our spark plug wire, the length we want to cut. So I'm going to cut it right here to the length that I want the 90 degree to go on. And we're going to put the wire here in the tool. We're going to go just slightly past the tool here and then squeeze all the way down. And then you're just gonna kinda like bend the wire a little bit to get the housing to break free of it. And just kinda rock it around a little bit until it pops off. And then be extra careful that this part here did not get nicked. Because if your conductor here gets nicked, it's gonna misfire and it's not gonna run good. So be really careful with that. So next step is we're gonna bend this piece over. So we're just gonna bend it over. And then this piece here is gonna clamp down on it. It's gonna clamp this lead here to this. And that's how it's gonna spark. So the thing to remember is you want this housing almost flush here with this top edge. So about like there. And then this piece should be down in here, but make sure that this does not stick out past the end of here. So just to show you, if it was sticking out like that, it's gonna misfire. So you definitely don't want that. This should be completely covered up. So make this a little bit easier. We're gonna bend this piece a little bit, just kind of give it a little bit extra bend. It just helps the crimper get started on it. So it makes a good shape when you're bending it. So I like to bend these down a little bit. So now that we have this, I'm gonna go with the wire to the back. So right here on the back. Just gonna push this down on it. Keep a little pressure. I'm just gonna kind of squeeze it to it and then push up to kind of put a little tension on it. And then you push this here in the crimper. Sometimes it's easier to go ahead and just get your terminal here in the crimper, get it started. Now we hold some pressure and then you can push this in so it puts a little drag on it so you can hold the position where you want. I'm just gonna push that in here a little bit, get that where you want it, and then just squeeze it down. So you kind of see here how that looks in there. And if you did this right, this crimp here should be nice and uniform across it. 
and it should not have cut into your housing. So it should be squeezing down your conductor here, should be held firmly against between this side and the terminal. So it should be down in here and you should not see it sticking out over here. So this looks really good, that part's good now. We're gonna put a little bit of dielectric grease on the boot and then push this in. Let's make sure this part is lined up here. So we're just gonna push it in. And this is, out of the two sides, this is your larger side for the spark plug to go in. So we're gonna push the wire into the small, put a little bit of dielectric grease. Doesn't really matter what kind. You just kind of push this in here. And then if you do that correctly, you should see it lined up perfectly with the boot. If not, you can just kind of rotate it a little bit. And now this is ready to put on the truck. So if you don't use these spark plug wires, you could end up getting wires that don't work correctly. You could have a misfire. If you're running a boost engine, that'd be extremely bad because you could misfire, blow your engine from having a bad spark plug wire. So make sure you're using quality spark plug wires when you assemble your build. You don't want to have your engine blow up from a misfire under boost or just out cruising. Thanks for joining us today on this guide. Be sure to click the like, subscribe, and bell notification buttons so you can stay up to date on informative projects like this.